Bailey, last time I put you in the, the vlog, everybody went crazy for you, so you have some fans on the internet. No. You want to say anything to them? Hi. Like, do you want me to put your phone number in the no, description so I can call you? <laughs> Today's episode, this this is going to be less of a fun episode, less of a happy one. This one, it's going to be sentimental and maybe a little sad. Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much. Candace and I are on a rogue mission to go to Connecticut. We are not going there for a fun weekend at the beach. Not this time. We're gonna go see my dad and then go home. We gotta say hello to the old man and then we gotta get to work. Thank you. Awesome. Bye, see you guys. Bye. See you later. Yeah, we don't like that car. I know. We didn't... I know. It I acts know. funny. See you later, man. Bye, Dad! We're almost there. Are you getting sad or nostalgic at all, Candace? Yeah, of course. Me too. We're here. What we're doing here, what we're doing today, is we're packing up the Connecticut house because we're selling it and it goes in the market this week. This house, buying this house is like one of the most proud moments of my entire life. See, this neighborhood with the cool beach, I, I didn't grow up here. I grew up in kind of like a less nice part of the hood across the river. I always wanted to live here. And after Owen, my older kid, after his mom and I broke up, I, I, you know, I immediately moved to New York City, but I would come back here three days a week. So I'd be in New York City Monday to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'd be here to be with my kiddo. And at first, like, we, we didn't have a place to stay. We stayed in the attic of my dad's coffee shop for a while. We stayed on my grandmother's couch and like slowly creeped up. Like eventually we got this tiny apartment where he and I slept on bunk beds. We rented this small house and then Today is November 20th November 20th 2000 no September 20th 2009 And that was like such, it was such a big moment for me. I remember the first time I opened the door after I closed on the house, I had the keys and we walked to the door and I was like, this is our home now. Uh, and if you can imagine what it feels like to explain to your kid why you're sleeping in an unfurnished attic. As a parent, like that was humiliating for me. And if you can sort of, you can sort of flip that over like inverse that. That was the pride that I felt when I finally bought this house for Owen and me. What are you doing? Going to the house. What's special about today? It's, we've actually got a house. Have you made a lot of money out of your music? Money. I mean, what is, how, much is, how much is a lot of money to you? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? Do you have a lot of possessions? A lot of oh, money in the bank? Possession make you rich? 
I don't, I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life. made this for Candace like 10 years ago and look this is Candace and me in South Africa 2006 this is 10 years ago look how young this house made me feel like a grown-up one of the reasons why I love Candace so much is that when we started dating the first time she came to Connecticut with me. She slept on the couch at my Nana's house because Owen and I didn't have a place to stay here. So, when I, like, the journey that was this house and Candace and everything, like, she was around when it was, like, really, when our lives were, like, really kind of, when we really struggled. Are you going to cry? All right, are you going to get dressed or just wear a towel home? You look great. You know, life goes on, and... Owen hasn't been a baby for a while. He's going to college in like two weeks. This house in the last couple years has gone from this like thing of pride in my life to this burden because we feel like we have to come here. It's very hard to get here with the baby. Owen doesn't even want to hang out here anymore because he has like a car and a job and life just keeps going. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. the last or at least close to the last time I'll ever walk out of that door again. What? Are you sad? Yeah, I'm really sad. Should we go take a selfie in front of me? Being too crazy. No, let's take a picture. 